JD from the lynch mob found me in the audience and he's like, yo, Ice-T's looking for you. Mm -hmm. And then he found me and then the next day I went up to the house in Hollywood Hills. The, like a couple days after that, he threw me on his album. He gave wow. me a whole song. Which album was this? It's Home Invasion. Home Invasion. And it's called okay. Funky Grips, the number 17. So when Ice-T reprimands you, when you get in trouble, does he yes. come in like, yo, T, I got to talk to you. Yeah, you pretty know, much. You're yeah. up right now. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Oh, you know, you got yeah. that talking. Yeah. <laughs> you got, yeah, he's really, I mean, I never, he really never has to reprimand, but if he has something serious to tell yeah. me, he comes up, he's like, look, T, you know, and yeah. he breaks it down. He never yells. I'm home court, standing trial. What's up, world? It's your boy, Big Court from the Holding Court Podcast. We back in here again. What's cracking with you, producer Ken? Man, we're back another day. We got uh, Nisi. Man, hey. <laughs> see yeah, we, got my, we got my daughter, my oldest daughter, Rachel Renee. How you doing, babe? It's a good time to be alive. It is, it mm -hmm. is. Like your hair, you got the cornrows right here. Got the nip, got the nip. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. You know, you know, since you joined, they say that you look like me, right? For real? I think you more so look like me with the cornrows. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to yeah. highlight. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Looking in the mirror. Today, we got, man, we got special guests in the house. We got hip hop royalty. And I don't mm -hmm. say that lightly. Um, on some real shit, we do. We got hip hop royalty. The lineage is crazy in this motherfucker. And y'all know how I feel about Ice T. Y'all already know that's that's Unk, that's fam. He's been on the show twice, but now we have not only his artists and his spawn, his oldest, you know. <laughs> oldest hey, yeah, we have his oldest daughter T in the building along with his artist and her artist that she's managing currently, Gripster. What's up? What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's going on, ladies? Hey, we happy to Man, be here. Happy to yeah, be here. I'm glad y'all came. Podcast. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? I've been needing to add some uh, estrogen to the show, you know. <laughs> right, yeah, missing... we've seen it's really <laughs> masculine. You know what I mean? Facts. But we're going to come and hybrid it. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, facts. Yeah, we got a little. Well, you said the high, you said the hybrid. Yeah, we're hybrids. Okay, we're, you know, we that, got that's an inside joke. She's busting me out right now. <laughs> we got a little estrogen, a little masculinity. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, man, y'all, y'all South Central LA natives, correct? Yes. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm actually originally from Oakland. Oh, uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, North Cal, four one five, five ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whole up. families from there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, my mom actually just got on the road and uh, mm. I was about 10 and she just got on the road and left mm. and drove us to L.A. No family, just mm -hmm. uh, me and her oh, okay. and her little uh, little BMW. <laughs> what are your and, memories uh, of, of the Bay? Uh, the first the, the first 10 years there were, were interesting. Mm. Uh, I, I kind of grew up uh, like uh, in the the Reagan when mm -hmm. Reagan was president, Reaganomics. and uh, that, and uh, yeah, and you know, if, if you guys know anything about Oakland, it mm -hmm. was um, it was a real bad time for Oakland at for the sure. time that I was there. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that's Felix Mitchell, Lil D. That's that era, yeah, uh, crack yeah, era, yeah, 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 the crack era. You yeah, know, yeah. so uh, so uh, I had a mother that I had a I have a really good mother. Like she was really um, stable. She uh, put me in Catholic school mm -hmm. when I was there. Um, but whenever I would like leave my mother, I would be, uh, just, you know, around elements, mm -hmm. a lot of different elements that, uh, that weren't so good, you know, mm -hmm. family, uh, substance abuse, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, fa my father, rest in peace, dealing with the same thing. Um, and just, uh, seeing a lot of, a lot of things that, that. I think probably definitely affected me and mm -hmm. uh, helped lead me to being an a artist. I got you. So yeah. East or West Oakland? Um, both. Okay. Both. Um, mm -hmm. I have like uh, my dad's side is more like West Oakland, mm -hmm. but you know we uh, just I think being in poverty, you tend to move around. Yeah. So it's not like right. we owned a house where we were you. like fixed one place. Right. You know, it's like wherever mom could afford. So yeah. I remember mm -hmm. me and my mom maybe living. Uh, five or six places, you know, mm -hmm. even in that 10 years, you know, wherever we could go. I got you. Yeah. yeah. So did you, did your family flee kind of Oakland to kind of get away from the the elements or? Um. So my whole family's still there. Okay. The only people that left is uh, me and my mom. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just me and my mom. You're an only child? 
I am. Me too. Oh, see? Yeah. See? yeah. <laughs> well, you know, my dad got around. Oh, yeah. So not my, my, dad, dad. my dad did too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not my dad's only child. Yeah, I'm my mother's only child. I'm my mother's only child. But my child. dad got like seven. Right. But yeah. we didn't grow up together. But yeah. I grew up an only child. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. yeah, like that. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So was it a culture shock when you got to L.A.? Because it the um, Bay in L.A. is very different. A lot of people yeah. outside of Cali don't know that. North yeah, Cal, was, North Cal in general. Yeah, North different. Cal in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it was different. a it was a culture shock. I feel like if I had probably stayed in the Bay, I wouldn't have gotten to being an artist. Mm -hmm. No, nah, I, I don't think so. Um, mm -hmm. I think definitely um, when we when we came to LA, we actually moved to West Hollywood. Mm. That's where we moved oh, wow. first. Yeah. Okay. So um, and then my mother um, got became a comedian. And she yeah. came up um, in the era like uh, Hope Flood, uh, Sherry Shepard, Jamie Foxx. Nice. I grew up around all of them. Oh, wow. You What's know, your mom's uh, name? Her name is Tiffany. Her okay. name is Tiffany. and um, That's what she performs under? Just uh, Tiffany? Yeah, yeah. And she okay. kind of stopped once I started rapping. Okay. You know, but when mm -hmm. we first got here, she jumped right into Hollywood and, mm -hmm. and started uh, with her comedy. Like, um, I grew up around Faison, you know, before he was Faison. Mm -hmm. Um, so he's like like a godfather to me, nice. and um, and so that helped get me into the arts of mm -hmm. rapping and stuff. Just from seeing my mother, you know, she would leave out late at night. I'd be home alone, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> um, and um, and I would just watch the rap videos yeah. to keep mm -hmm. myself only child, like to yeah. keep myself busy, uh -huh. you know. And that's how I kind of got into rapping. But yeah. what were some of your early musical influences back then? Oh. Um, Wow, I would say, thinking of the cassettes my mom would find and throw away. <laughs> the cassettes, my yeah. Right. You're showing your age Don't now. Don't add my age. You Some guys are gonna have to calculate yeah. that. They're gonna be like, "What is yeah, that?" Damn, yeah, Reagan, who's so Reagan? But uh, yeah, so uh, I would I, I listened to a lot of Ice Cube, a lot of mm -hmm. DJ Quick, um, hey. Ice T mm -hmm. before I even knew him. The col mm -hmm. colors, colors was my thing. Yeah. Um, two Life Crew, I would sneak and listen to. Uh, oh, Me So Horny. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, Me So Horny. Um, but yeah, mostly, mostly, uh, uh, oh, uh, Naughty by Nature, mm -hmm. Tribe Called Quest. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I think those are my. Mm. Those so are my being on the ones. West Coast, you mm -hmm. were also influenced by East Coast artists, obviously, oh, as well. Yeah, definitely. Because, mm -hmm. you know, East Coast, you know, they kind of. I know they were kind of dominating at that, you know, back at that time. Yeah, we were yeah. we were just coming into yeah, our you're right. gangster you're right. rap, you know. So yeah. um, you know, Tret Tretch was it, uh Dos Effects, you know, yeah. those those people yeah. were very prominent. Yeah. Especially on Yo MTV Raps. You showing yeah. our age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is all I watch. You showing our age. These I know Yo like MTV Raps. Yeah. Right. I, diggity, diggity, hey, die. oh, oh, wait a Yo, minute. Um, my you know, audio Chris engineer Cross. produced that album. Really? Yeah, Derek. My audio <laughs> engineer. <laughs> he literally was filming on the Lisa Ray. They were effects. Yeah. 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 They was doing the diggity, 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 diggity. Yeah. Shout out to Derek. Shout out to Hey, I was a little kid then. Let me preface that, okay? Yeah. I was sneak no, I was sneaking listening to that. Yeah. So 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 let me ask you. So when you got to LA, mm -hmm. did you guys meet immediately then? No. When did you guys meet? Uh we met about three years later. Okay. We I actually started uh rapping about 13. Mm -hmm. And um I, I within like two or three months of me rapping, I actually met her dad. Mm -hmm. So it happened really fast. So you I met Ice T first, or you met her first? I met Ice T first, mm -hmm. oh, but I only had wow. known him like three days, and then okay. I met her because okay. soon as I met him, he put me in the studio within like two days. So let's and go back to came. that. Let's mm -hmm. go back to that. How did you meet Ice T? Well, I got in a um, a hip hop competition, like mm -hmm. um, ASCAP Publishing Company. Mm -hmm. They would have back then. You know, rap was a lot more new, so they would have like these industry competitions. So I got in the competition and went through the stages. I made it through the finals. Um, when I got through the finals, um, a, a gentleman named Michael Concepcion. Oh uh, yeah, remember? I know the OG. Yeah, yeah. OG. He introduced us. He did. Uh, we all in the same game. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. So he introduced us. I guess he had seen me at the semifinals, mm -hmm. and um, at the finals, he says, "Oh, this, there's." He calls me over to the table. He's sitting there with ice. And he's like, oh, there's this, this little girl. I want you to see her. You know, she's going to be rocking the stage. So Ice is like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to check you out. <laughs> so um, I went up there and I didn't have like background dancers or anything. And I was mm -hmm. just this kid and I just rocked the mic by myself. And then when I came off stage, um, 
a lynch mob, uh, is it J JD? Yeah, JD? JD from the lynch yep. mob found me in yep. the audience and he's like, yo, Ice T's looking for you. Mm -hmm. And then he found me and then the next day I went up to the house in Hollywood Hills. The, like a couple days after that, he threw me on his album. He gave wow. me a whole song. Which album was this? It's Home, Home Invasion. Home Invasion. And it's called okay. Funky Grips the Number 17. Yeah. Like an entire song. And she walked in the studio yeah. when we were doing that. <laughs> yeah. Were you going by Grips to them? Yes. Mm -hmm. How'd you uh -huh. get the name? Um, well, <laughs> it was kind of like um I kind of had started like a crew mm -hmm. um in junior high, like a uh and uh, we weren't like banging, but we thought we were tough. Okay. And um, I think one of my friends was like, you should call yourself Grip. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, that sounds hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I thought I was tough, you mm -hmm. know? So I just, um, I went to, back then people were putting stuhs on their name. Yeah. I, you know, so I'm like, Grip right. stuh. Right. So yeah. that's yeah. kind of how I came up with it. But I had had it before I was really rapping. So I seen some of your old, uh, some of the old footage from back then. Mm -hmm. Were you influenced? Influenced by Boss? Had Boss come out yet? Yes, okay. I was influenced oh, boss. by Boss. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Right. I, I could was. see the influence. Yeah, yeah, just in terms of the presentation, because yeah. it was hard back then. Yeah, yeah. uh huh. Yeah, I, I'm mm -hmm. still hard now. I'm just yeah. more. I'm just grown right. up. Right. So right. on the outside, right. it might. Right. But nah, we yeah. we still hard. Because back then, for sure. you got to think, especially coming from the West Coast, mm -hmm. it really wasn't. Like salt and pepper were a little. They were feminine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. But coming mm -hmm. from the West Coast, you had well, Boss was representing the West, represent, even though she was from Detroit, but mm -hmm. it was kind of this rough khakis, rough. flannels, you know what I mean? Well, you type know, of the thing. Brat, I believe girls mm -hmm. had to fit in with the mm -hmm. guys in hip hop at that mm -hmm. time to even be taken seriously yeah. because all the rest of the girls, if you were mm -hmm. dressed like a hoochie, you was a, a dancer. That's right. Mm -hmm. Especially so in that era. you came you're right. in you're right. with your gear on, you yeah. know, you looked like, oh, I'm here for yeah. that action. Mm -hmm. No, know? that's real. Because so. if you think about it, like HWA, they was a, they was before their time. They was right. the hot girls right. back then. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? But, oh, I remember but they didn't take. People yeah. didn't really. Three, five, seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Old yeah, Town, yeah, three, yeah, five, yeah. seven. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So so now Ice T puts you on home invasion. Mm -hmm. I mean, does he sign you to Rhyme Syndicate? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. he signs me to Rhyme Syndicate. Uh -huh. And then through Rhyme Syndicate, they shopped me um, a, a record deal. Mm -hmm. So I think I got offers from uh, Geffen, mm -hmm. Virgin, and AM. And we went with AM. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So I want to come back to that. Mm -hmm. So, but you meet T. Mm -hmm. Ice T's daughter, right? Yeah. So, yeah. how did y'all click? What, what, what made that? You know, because this is now thirty plus. Oh, I don't yeah. Want to, but there you go. It's a minute. <laughs> Cut that <Yeah>. part. <laughs> nah. Um, um, well, my dad, when he when he did uh, see Grip, he came home so excited. I was like, uh -huh. "This girl, she's lit. She's a young. I'm like, oh, you know, she's a rapper. You gotta see her. I'm like, how old is she? thirteen? I'm like, thirteen. <laughs> At this time, I think I was what like. 16, maybe something 15 like or something. Oh, you was 13 too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 13 too. <laughs> so, but no, when we linked up, I don't know, I kind of took on like a big sis mm -hmm. role. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our parents were working, so mm -hmm. we were together. We like yeah. were babysitting each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you go with T. Nice. So, um, we clicked immediately. Like, okay. You know? Nice, nice. So, let me ask you real quick. Uh -huh. So, obviously, you being the OG. The super OG of yeah. the whole fucking rap game, one of the godfathers of gangster rap. That what part. was that like for you, being Ice T's daughter? Um, it, I mean, back then it mm -hmm. was it was kind of hard for me to wrap my head around. It was mm -hmm. just dad, right? But um, I. I started noticing how big he was when people were like, oh, I stayed your dad. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't really <laughs> put the two together. Like, I, you know, but um, it was fun. I got yeah. to meet a lot of people, had uh -huh. a lot of experiences that a lot of people didn't right. have. But um, for me, I, I, it didn't really phase me that much. So I'm trying to imagine. So when Ice-T reprimands you, when you get in trouble, does he yeah. come in like, yo, T, I got to talk to you. Yeah, pretty you know, much. You're I fucking said. up right now. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Oh, you know, you yeah. got yeah. that talking. Yeah. <laughs> you got, yeah, he's really, I mean, I never, he really never has to reprimand, but if he has something serious to tell yeah. me, he comes up, he's like, look, T, you know, and yeah. he breaks it down. He never yells. Yeah. Yeah. Never yells. I've never been yelled at. By so he's him. like a player dad. He's too. yeah. He's, he's cool always playing. all the time. All the time. Even when I'm freaking out. I remember when I was mm -hmm. younger. But oh, he's like, look, chill. 
everything's good. You know, everything's so, good to you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, he's always been that way. That's how nice. you are. Yeah. Well, now I've grown into it. Yeah. That. Yeah. So you're thrusted into this music business. Mm. You have no reference of mm -hmm. the business. You're 13 no. years old, right? Yeah. So yeah. I mean, super talented. Yeah. So now, what was what was going on during this whole time? I mean, you're shopped to a you signed with A and M. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, which is A and M still operating? Are they still around? They are. They, okay. They, they are. Okay. Well, for the listeners and for the youngsters, mm -hmm. this was huge. This is a major uh -huh. label. Yeah, so, that just was so y'all really understand, big. this Janet is big. Was on Janet was on. Janet Jackson. I was there. So I just want to. So they understand the the magnitude yeah. of what yeah. you were doing at the time. Yeah. Um. So what was that like once you got on A and M? Wow, that was um, that was amazing. I mean, everything moved really fast. I mm -hmm. immediately got the bread. We got in the studio. We start making the album. Mm -hmm. You know, I threw a, a South Central Cartel. Prodigy did a lot of my Shout tracks. He did half Cartel. my album. Shout out. Yeah. Uh, Spice <clears throat> One hopped on it. Shout out to Spice uh, One. A uh, few other people, you know, syndicate people. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and it just, it all happened really, really fast. Mm -hmm. You know, all of a sudden I had a publicist and I had a mm -hmm. lawyer and then um, OJ Simpson's daughter was my stylist, um, mm. Arnell Simpson. Arnell, yeah. You know, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I know your dad. Like, <laughs> he's the guy, he's the guy, well, right. forget it, you know? Um, but it, it was it was really dope just to be, it's it almost seems like a dream, you know, when, mm -hmm. when you're that young, you don't yes. really know like right. the magnitude of exactly. what's going on. This is real. Yeah. You know, but it it almost seemed unreal, you know, because mm -hmm. I used to listen to Ice mm -hmm. and my mom was really young back then and she'd be like, Yeah, colors, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, oh that's the guy that sees colors. And I'm like, like, yeah. like we're with him, like yeah. we're at his house. Yeah. We're like family, mm -hmm. yeah. like Instantly, so it just and, happened so fast. And this was the big white Hollywood Hills, the one. big Hollywood, the, the crack okay. house, yeah, the crack house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. we were babysitting each other in uh -huh. that house too, having yeah. tons of oh, fun, too uh -huh. much fun. <laughs> so, so let me ask you: with you obviously having this hardcore music mm -hmm. and, and having that, you know, you have somewhat been exposed to the streets, mm -hmm. I guess, vicariously mm -hmm. through family. But mm -hmm. you guys are in the Hollywood Hills, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Are you are you indulging in South Central? Are you in in the oh, streets, kind of sorta as well? Oh, absolutely. Y'all can tell it now. Y'all grown. Yeah. Uh, you know. I took it I to was. the hood. I, I, I took no, it to the hood. I, I had been to the hood. Like you know, you yeah. know, the thing is, like for me, like even the Hollywood schools, mm -hmm. all the kids were bust in. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the thing about they LA. The hood. rich people don't right. have a lot of kids, right. so we a lot of. 80, 70 percent mm -hmm. of the kids are coming from the hood. Mm -hmm. So all my friends are from you know, the LA hood, I had already been there, you know, mm -hmm. with my stuff in the Bay, but now my friends are from, you know, a lot of, I had, my best friend was from the jungles. Mm -hmm. So, you know, every weekend now I'm in the jungles. So now mm -hmm. my, I have a boyfriend that I'm lying to about my age, who's like five years older. Damn. That's from the jungles, Damn, okay. you know? So now I'm like walking around with, you know, late at night with crocus sacks and, yeah. and, um, you know, yeah, you ducking bullets. Strings? I did. I, yeah. I, I went through yeah. that stage yeah. and, um, you know, it it, it 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 was crazy. So yeah, even though we we're up there, yeah, right, I got you. You can't really escape. How did y'all navigate the the gang element back then? Because Ooh. in the in the late eighties, early nineties, yeah. it was super active. It was super. Um, active. How how did y'all navigate that? Because you y'all kind of going in between these two worlds. I mean, obviously your dad and yeah. being in the Hollywood Hills, but you still young and you yeah. you know doing what you're doing. Well, there's a good story um, my dad always tells about um, him taking me to go get some sneakers when mm -hmm. I was like in high school. Mm -hmm. And at this time I lived in the jungles mm -hmm. and the jungles is predominantly a blood neighborhood, yep. right? Yep. So we going to get some shoes and my dad's trying to get me some shoes. We're looking at shoes and stuff. And he picks out these shoes that are blue. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, dad, those are dope, yeah. but I can't wear them. Yeah. He's like, what you talking about? I'm like, mom, mommy stays in the hood with yeah. the blood. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know. Yeah. And then also when I used to, I used to live in the jungles, but I had to catch the bus because I went to Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to mm -hmm. Santa Monica, mm -hmm. but that bus stop mm -hmm. waiting on that bus. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Right on that whole oh, bus. Yeah. Real talk. So yeah. I would wear 
gang related clothes at the bus stop just to blend in and then yeah, change yeah. clothes at school yeah. into regular stuff <laughs> and then change back in just so I could walk home Damn. and not be sweat you know oh, nobody wow. would sweat you but it's uh, kind of like it's normal mm-hmm. it's not yeah, like I'm doing something you just do it you already right. know you right know, so. right did, and let me ask you real quick you you being in school and people knowing that Ice-T was your dad did they treat you differently was it or did they try to bully you they didn't believe me really yeah, they didn't believe me. I mean, you they look would, like them. Hi. Some of you know, <laughs> that part. They didn't yeah. believe. They didn't believe me. A lot uh-huh. of people didn't believe me. They did try to. Oh, that's the one who says her dad's ice tea. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. So I just stopped telling people. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. what happened was, uh, I think sixth grade. This was one incident. Sixth grade, he came to my graduation. Oh, wow. uh, Windsor Hills Elementary uh, School. Oh, okay. And when I tell you, the whole school yeah. followed us out. The school. I mean, they were, yeah. it was like a mob. And yeah. I'm like, oh, you got to believe your me dick. now. Huh? That, was a, that was a real flex. It was, was a, a super flex. flex. <laughs> it was a super, I was just like, oh my God. Everybody was looking at me like, oh, I have a question. Did yeah. you feel isolated a little bit because Always. of? Always. People Always don't just understand. felt different. Yes. Yeah, but I think that it's made me great, though. You know, mm-hmm. at a certain time, you don't understand why you're going through certain things, but it kind of builds you up. So yeah. I always felt isolated. I always felt a little different, mm-hmm. you know, but mm-hmm. I guess you, we are different. Yeah, did you yeah. did you go through that, uh, Rachel? Because I I rapped in the nineties. I had signed to No Limit. And oh, for by, real? Yeah, and I was never. I've never. I, I would not try to compare myself to Ice T. Okay, <laughs> right. you understand no, the difference. No. But yeah. still, with us coming from Kansas City, did you have to? Did you deal with that? Feeling isolated? Uh huh. In yeah. terms of what people would treat you differently because yeah. you were my daughter. Well, I don't think it's it's not necessarily that people just treat you differently, mm-hmm. but it's being out here in LA, like y'all said, because mm. it's like, especially well, us coming from Kansas City, mm. coming to LA. So I had a culture shock of not understanding gang right. culture, LA mm. Valley, none of that. And we moved the same thing. We were in like the Santa Monica area. Mm-hmm. And we were, I was going to freaking Paul Revere. Okay. I was a Revere right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and okay. uh, yeah, I was supposed to go to Pacific Palisades oh. and you know, dealing with all that, but my friends, thank God for my LA friends at the time, explaining everything to me. But yeah, I rem- I'll never forget this. When we were at the end of the day, like you said, getting bussed in, mm-hmm. I was going to the front of the school to get picked up because we lived down the street. They were all walking to the buses. Right. And I remember that. They were like, why are you walking up there? And I was like, I'm going home. And they were like, we, the bus is over here. And I'm right. like, I live down the street. Right. And so then it was like, right. well, what do your parents do? Mm-hmm. And right. then my dad at that time was like still kind of working with P&M. And, oh. and then- when people find out who, like you said, who your dad is mm-hmm. or who you're affiliated with, especially out here, it can be a little isolated because you can't tell them like, you know, oh, my weekends, people are coming over. Like my right. dad's in and out of town or maybe I'm doing this, but I'm also still in the hood. I'm still mm-hmm. here. I'm still doing this. They can't accept the duality of who right. you are. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that's what becomes isolating. That part. Yeah. You said that so well. Uh. Wow. So y'all. Yeah, she said that oh wow. Mm-hmm. So y'all y'all agree with her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You do. Good job. Good job, Good job Rachel. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, my daughter's awesome. Yeah. yeah. She. Yeah, she. Yeah, she people been loving her on the show, man. That's why I give her her her. I let her do her thing. You know she I mean? did. Yeah. So um, you deal with A and M. Yeah. So now you set up. You mm-hmm. got the bread. You know. Y'all about to launch. What happens? Yeah. Um. We we got the first video shot. I mm-hmm. uh, wrote it, it uh, directed it. It was mm-hmm. so lit. Uh, my first single was Pop Goes the Nine. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're ready to go. I'm, I'm picking out my photos, my album cover, everything's lit. And then I just get a call. And mm-hmm. it's like, you, the, your, the tough break label got dropped from A&M. Mm. So, so you were signed to a subsidiary. Yeah, it was like uh, tough break A&M. Uh, it was like the rap area of a and got you so, got you okay. um so if if you think of like i don't know if you're familiar like with sunset and la brea mm-hmm. that whole building was a yeah. and m and um mm-hmm. so they had like the tough break division in uh, in mm-hmm. that building and um i just i went up there to get a few things and it was like completely cleaned out and empty like one day mm-hmm. it was full and label mm-hmm. full label the mm-hmm. next day it was empty wow, with just loose wow. papers on the floor and, like and i just picked up some fast. pictures oh, yeah they just crazy. left so th- the reasoning i was told was that they had lost too much money mm-hmm. um on the on rappers mm-hmm. they were like two million in and had lost money and they mm-hmm. just didn't want to deal with the rap part anymore mm-hmm. so oh, a&m yeah. 
so that was A and M doing away with rap. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was about to say it seemed mm -hmm. like they would have picked, but that no. was a division. Yeah, of that was the rap division. Got yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. They're done. So, so damn. So how did you feel at that moment? Um, me being so young, I just was like it kind of left like as quick as it came because mm -hmm. like i said i hadn't been rapping long when mm -hmm. i was discovered mm -hmm. i think i was signed within like four months mm -hmm. of even rapping mm -hmm. so i just kind of looked at it almost i hate to say like from a kid i'm like well maybe it was a food like maybe mm -hmm. i wasn't supposed to right. make it because mm -hmm. it happened so quick and it came you know easy for me mm -hmm. and so and it left easy for me right you know right. so it was it was disappointing mm -hmm. it was very disappointing so how did you recover from that and what did you do to pivot in your career um mm -hmm. i i still um was doing like acting and stuff mm -hmm. i had got um towards the tail end of uh my deal i got in a movie called dangerous minds with michelle pfeiffer i was mm -hmm. one of the students okay um and so that was uh kind of like the catalyst that got me into doing more like commercials and, and mm -hmm. different TV and stuff. So I kind of kept uh, on with mm -hmm. that. And then my mom was just like, you're going to college. Mm -hmm. This is too much. You're going to college. Oh, so wow. I just kind of stopped rapping. So you completely stepped away and from music. And went to Cal State Northridge. Oh, yeah. nice. Nice. <laughs> yep. Nice. Yeah. Congrats. And what did, what did you, <laughs> yeah, congratulate. What did you major in? Uh, psychology and Pan-African Studies. Oh, wow. Yeah. You got your BA? Yes, I did. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. My mother so, would love you. I did that <laughs> and I went into special ed uh, teaching, believe oh, it or not. Oh, wow. So. I have a son that's on the spectrum. Oh, okay. He's the, he's the one at UCLA. Oh, dope. Yeah. 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 That's dope. Yeah. 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 What made you want to transition into uh focusing on special needs kids um i don't know i think even when i was in school mm -hmm. i always um would be the one to befriend all yeah. of the special mm -hmm. needs kids really yeah, yeah okay. i just okay. love the special needs kids mm -hmm. like i just i i don't know i just have I just I just love people that mm -hmm. that maybe other people don't love. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Or maybe That's they why. don't understand. Right. Or, or yeah, 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 not love, but like you know like yeah. I yeah. guess that's why I love the there's hood a certain, so much. There's a certain innocence to it too. Yeah, oh, they're yeah. so innocent. I worked. I worked at a school district right after I graduated. Uh, oh, did you? R RSP, I think it was called back then. Oh, or whatever. Or like resource. Oh, services. resource. Yeah. 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 I, I helped out there with a bunch yeah. of kids, and then you just, you know, your heart goes out for them. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's the, it ain't the same. You know yeah. What I mean, there's a level of innocence. To when it. I say don't love, I'm saying like, <clears throat> like at school, people would be like, "Why are you talking to them?" Right. And I'm like, "Why right. not talk to them?" Exactly. <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. You're no better. Yeah, exactly. we've always been like that. Right. Though. We've always been Very those humble type of people. And, mm -hmm. Like, you know, always with the kids who are kind of like the underdogs. Right. Yeah, we're always kind of we're not letting nobody pick on people yeah. and stuff. No. Nah. Like I was the same way. Most of the fights that I've been in growing up <laughs> were protecting, were protecting someone, someone else. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. I yeah. took a bunch of fades that wasn't right. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I want to drag it back too. So we were speaking briefly about South Central Cartel. Yeah. You know, those shout are the out homies. To South Central shout, Cartel. shout out to shout South out. Central Cartel. I grew up on them and they've been to the show as well. You know, oh, yeah. So how did you how did you connect with uh SCC? Actually, Ice introduced me to him. Okay. Um when he was with the gangster the gangster team. The gangster team. And they yeah. had put me in yeah. the gangsters team. Mm -hmm. And it's like the rest is history. I, I just really clicked with them. They were mm -hmm. cool. I said, Prod, let me hear some beats. And mm -hmm. like I said, he just ended up doing half the album, but actually Ice introduced us. Okay. You know. And then they had a, uh, another female artist named Shaquilla, and they threw me like yeah. on half her album. Mm -hmm. And um, we just been down ever since. LV did some work on my album. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to the homie yeah. LV. Yeah. yeah. They all came to the show. I grew up on them. You yeah. know, that's the thing. Me coming from Kansas City, I grew up on West Coast music. Nice. Wow. I mean, that South was... Central Cartel, CMW, of course, Ice-T. Mm. Uh, Ice-T was the one that introduced me to gangster rap. Uh, I think Word. Squeeze the Trigger Word. was the first Word. gangster rap record that I ever heard. Wow. Yeah, that was like 86, 87. Oh, yeah, that's a good way to come Rhyme into pace. it, right? <laughs> yeah. That's the Orange Cutlass soundtrack yeah. right there. Yeah, like, yeah. so much. And so, um, <laughs> oh, the Orange Cutlass. <clears throat> you had an Orange Cutlass? <laughs> yeah, I did. What? With triple gold dates. I had a, With yeah, triple yeah, gold dates? Tell on them. Yeah, tell yeah. on them. Okay. I, had, I had white interior, uh, burnt orange, half white top. 
uh, some 14-7 triple gold Dayton's and Vogue's. What? I had a 350 yeah. dual that exhaust. car shop. And I mean, before that, show body. before that, I had a blue Cutlass with some chrome Dayton's and blue spokes with that 10 part. switches on it. Yeah. I was yeah. the hot boy. To, you know what I mean? You know, SEC <laughs> got the switches songs. So oh, yeah. Switches. Yeah. 17 yeah. switches. Switches. 17 yeah. switches. Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. was hitting the switches yeah. to 17. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, man. That first SEC album that, uh, not the, I get my role on, but what was it? Uh, in Gats We Trust. In Gats We, I knew you were going to say. Yeah. yeah. That was and lit. That was classy. I used to laugh at SEC, especially because they would always say, yeah, when people see us, they want to ask what gang we from. Yeah. I'm like, but you got blue rags in your mm -hmm. pocket. Like, yeah. Like, like people got y'all fucked up or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. Know? But uh, classic group, classic group. Yeah. Um, so you be So you've been teaching this whole time? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Pretty much, I, I would I would uh, hop in the studio, you know, uh -huh. in and out. But for the most part, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what made you want to say 2023 or 22? I'm I'm finna do this shit again. I'm coming back. A lot of people just kept contacting me. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, I I guess you know, being with Ice, I have so many fans in Europe. Mm -hmm. It's not really even Americans. Wow. Okay. I've been contacted for years from, I mean, people from Holland, mm -hmm. mostly Germany, mm -hmm. um, Russia, mm. and it, I like I people just kept calling me back, you know, and wow. friends and family too, of course, calling me back, you mm -hmm. know. I guess, you know, it's like, you know, and I I felt it. I felt like I needed. It was something that I just needed to complete. Because mm -hmm. you don't just do this much and then just completely give up on That's it. That's right. You That's know, right. I just feel like maybe the time wasn't right back then. Mm -hmm. But I know, I feel for sure the time is right now. Mm -hmm. so, it comes to so you put a couple singles out back then. I um, I had started to. Mm -hmm. The Pop Goes the Nine had just peaked on the Billboard charts when the label got dropped. Okay. okay. So, um, and then I had uh, Funky Grips, and then I had a, a slew of songs with um, South Central Cartel mm -hmm. and Shaquilla when they were on Def Jam West. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. mostly what I did. Okay, and that's where the overseas fans they know you from from those records. Yeah, I believe okay. so. I think I think. I think definitely from Funky Gripsta. I mean, okay. like she said, people oh, are contacting definitely. her. Is that Gripsta? Yeah, <laughs> you know, Gripsta. We want Gripsta. You know. Yeah. yeah. And I've been, I've been She's hitting been, her the whole time. Yeah. And like, then, come yeah. on, let's get yeah. out and get back yeah. in the studio. Yeah. Let's get back in the studio. Yeah. The only thing that's got it. She's been thinking about it, but, but it since really she's hard. off work now, mm -hmm. it was time. You mm -hmm. know, she um yeah. got off work because of the pandemic and yeah. things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah. look. You got some free time on your yeah. hands. Let's do this. Which is more gratifying for you, being a mm -hmm. teacher or doing the music? That's a good question. Wow, that's a good question. I think they satisfy different parts of my soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. I think the teacher, uh, it's probably, I would say maybe 40, 60, maybe. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think definitely like doing my artistry is mm -hmm. more satisfying only because I'm free mm -hmm. and I have freedom. Mm -hmm. I can really be myself. Right. You know, um, I, I, like I said, I always, I have an edge to me. So being mm -hmm. a teacher, I still, even though I was helping the children, I felt confined. I would mm -hmm. put on um, glasses that had no prescription. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Um, I have to tats like on my neck yeah. and I would, do this, <laughs> then I have the I'm tatted down. I would have yeah. to do this, so it's hard to kind of live like that yeah. all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why you know with the rap, and I really can just be myself and let my. I feel like when I rap, it's my subconscious coming mm -hmm. out. Mm. So yeah. the students don't know the gangster. They don't know Gripster. No, nah, no, no. But I've had to bring it out sometimes when they <laughs> act up, <laughs> and then they be like, "Oh, I, I, you know," they be like, "Okay, miss. Okay, <laughs> miss. We gonna sit down." Because I, I could, I could, I flip it on them and be like, yeah. "I'm from where you guys are from. Like, don't right. play with me." And yeah. I'll use a little slang, and then they be like, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 "What grades do you teach?" Oh, uh, I taught well. Anything from K to six. Okay. But the kids start getting like more disrespectful at fourth grade. <laughs> yeah. Around fourth grade, yeah. they challenge you. Yeah. They'd be like, Miss, I like your earrings. Where you get them? I'd be like, Don't ask me personal questions. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't, you know, and they get in your business. Yeah. You know. So let me ask you this being that we're from a generation um, where, you know, lyrics, uh, originality mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. really, you know, a part of hip hop and focus. Uh, now, fast forward to now. 
what are your thoughts on the rap game and not just the rap game, but the mm -hmm. females in the rap game? And this is a question for both of y'all. And don't be PC, no politically yeah. correct, mm -hmm. keep it 100. You go first, Greg. <laughs> Well, I definitely think it's watered down. It's watered down. Okay. It's it's more like microwavable rap. That's what I look at it as. You know, I, we were we definitely could be more authentic back then. Now I feel like it's such a big business. There's too many hands involved in it, mm -hmm. and now it just seems so manufactured to me. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it's really like, you know, it's it's. It's different, like the, that. The we are, we have to be like naked now, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and we have to more so sell sex. And it just seems like with the new um, rappers and and the females particularly, it just seems like there's somebody like in their ear telling them what to rap mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. And no one did that to mm -hmm. me. You know, I could just really be myself. I would wear like a syndicate T-shirt mm -hmm. and. And I could just be myself. I remember wanting to wear makeup at the Pop Goes the Night mm -hmm. video, and Ice is like, "Just give her Carmex." <laughs> <laughs> and my mom's like, "Carmex? Oh, that's disrespectful. Can she get a little a mascara?" <laughs> and um, and he's like, "Carmex, it is." <laughs> so we're like, "We're not arguing with the boss." Like, and and I literally just rocked out there with Carmex, and you know, and and he, it was no concern that it was yeah. gonna be a problem. Yeah, because right. it wasn't about the image and the it look. Wasn't. It was about it was right. about the look lyrics, the art, the music at yeah. that time. Yeah. I think it's, comp you know, it, the, the, when you get naked, it kind of distracts from mm. your content. So if I'm like, you know, if I'm trying to give you some game, but I'm butt ass naked, you kind of may not hear everything mm -hmm. I got to say. Yeah. You know? That's kind of so, the content game yeah. now though. Yeah, right? yeah. Because that's social yeah. media, that's Instagram. Yeah, that's yeah all but that's what like, I'm saying. I, I, and I, that's why I don't think that a lot of the rap has any kind of like a message. It's mm -hmm. not any, it's, it's not giving uh, storylines. It's not. Do you think the audience shares in that? Because that's the shit they respond to. So if somebody comes out and they really talking about something with substance and they're not showing their body, they don't get no traction. But then the chick that comes out and shows everything and ain't talking, but you know, talking some trick hoe type shit. Yeah. Then she gets all the traction. So that sets the that's because that sets of the, the precedence. attention span. It's right. The audience has changed. Right. Audience has changed. So right. that's what they're acclimated to mm -hmm. that that type of music they they probably don't know like how how the experiences we had mm -hmm. in music so it's like new music and new fans and that's mm -hmm. just the stuff they're running with right but like we we know yeah we're like huh, it, I don't know it shifts this. like that over time though right because huh? yeah. like i didn't grow up listening mm -hmm. to 80s rap mm -hmm. uh, i grew i grew up on Sebo, brother lynch mm -hmm. x-rated too it. short yeah. mm -hmm. i'm from sacramento so oh, right. Facts, so like yeah. people would come back and play like Melly Mel or something. I'm like, I don't listen to that. Like, Facts. Like, That's right. And it's no disrespect. Now <laughs> right. that I'm yeah. older, I go like, I understand. Right. But like, yeah. what we talk about now sometimes, because I'm old now too, I'm 41. I go like, yeah, hey, yeah it's not for me. Like, yeah, it's not for you. You know what I mean? I still yeah. listen to Spice One. Yeah. All day long. Like, yeah. It's one of my favorite rappers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like but, you just came out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I listen to, yeah, I listen to, to like that. All of that. Dude, like, right. Yeah. America's Nightmare. When they say, I listen, yeah. I listen to that all day. Welcome to the ghetto. And yeah. The, the funny thing is, I raised her on gangster rap. So her top five is basically my top five. Right. Okay. You know, Spice One, Sebo. Mm -hmm. DJ Quig. Oh, DJ Quig. Uh, Spice out, One. Shout out. <laughs> All Too the West short. Coast. Yeah. But how do you think that women now, because that's what I wanted to ask, how do you think that women now should balance that femininity and masculine polarity in rap now? Because I don't think that women, because you said this earlier, and I agree, because even back in the 90s, R&B artists, mm -hmm. even the women were baggy clothes yeah. and everything, and that was cute, Throw you know what I mean? and relax exactly. your feet. Hey. Exactly. Shout out escape. <laughs> How do we balance that now? Because I think it's cute to celebrate your, or I think it's nice to celebrate your womanhood, your femininity, because mm -hmm. we are different from men. We yes. are powerful in a completely mm -hmm. different way, but at the same time, we don't want to be objectified as that. Mm -hmm. How would you present yourself as that balance? Well, you know, for me, I just always, I always just try to be my authentic self. And mm -hmm. like you said, I don't really, I mean, like I've changed my whole look, but mm -hmm. not really just for the rap game. I'm just a grown woman now. Yes. So I just enjoy being a woman. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I might, you know, look good, but it, it for me, when the way I rap, it's like, I just, I'm not really selling that. I'm just mm -hmm. happen to look. Yes. Nice. Right. You know, but um, but I, I just balance it by just, you know, I feel like I still like 
kick the gangster shit. Mm -hmm. I just am being really just myself on the outside. And I think that's okay. You a lover girl and a real nigga. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That part, <laughs> like a hybrid, yeah. like yeah. low key. That's you know what I'm word saying? For the day. Yes. Hybrid. Yeah. Hybrid. Yeah. And, <laughs> and honestly, no, I honestly kind of, and you know, I'm not totally like against like how the how the the rap has shifted for shifted for women because now I feel like it's safe for me to look feminine and yes. still rap hard. Mm -hmm. Back then, it wasn't safe. I had mm -hmm. to look hard. To rap hard, I had to look hard. Right. Or right, it would just right. be like, yeah, well, it wouldn't sell. She, yeah. Was there an element? Was there an element? Because it's like a very male dominated industry. Yeah, right? that's right. an element. And like, I even think of the, I, I yeah. used to listen to uh, Miss Marvelous and he uh -huh. was like Sugar T and uh -huh. all that. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they were hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. it was gangster, but their whole circle is men. Hardcore, yeah, like mine was. you had to yeah. sit in. So yeah. I'm wondering the, if that played into it too, where it's like, well, I got to sure. compete with this. For, for this is sure. the this is the industry, you right. you and right. I got to compete with girls, that. Because girls, you're right. Because it is sure. an archetype of woman. Because it is. It's for like sure. I'm a tomboy. For you sure. know what I mean? And I'm, but I am a woman. And then you do. Right. You come into yourself mm -hmm. as a woman, but you yeah. still can't. Like I said, you you a love a girl. You a real one at yeah. the same time. So yeah. now, yeah. like you said, I think now women can. I guess be both presenting. I just we think can. there's a slight imbalance with yeah. the it sexuality. Is. Right. It is. Exactly. It is. It is. You it, summed it, it up. And if you, you and if you remember, like toward the, if you look at rappers like Mia X, Gangsta mm -hmm. Boo, people who was surrounded by men, rest yeah, but they rest in peace yes. to Gangsta Boo. Yeah. Uh, but you see, yeah, they were they started out kind of hard, mm -hmm. but then as they came into their own, they the they kind of you know. Yeah feminized it right. a little bit more exactly. so but yeah, now like you said that lack of balance it's like now yes. it's just it's over Come yeah well now. what i mm -hmm. think is the difference it's like okay gangsta boo and uh mia mm -hmm. x mm -hmm. men could rap their songs if that came on yeah. men is dumb that's so real. guys aren't finna be like singing the rap yeah. that girls <laughs> yeah, are talking that's right, about that's right, right now that's yeah. right, yeah. so right. it kind of cuts uh, them out a yeah, little bit yeah. Yeah. even if you like cardi b yeah. you're not really finna no, be singing her songs and then i get some money and then i get some money Public. No, no, all right. <laughs> not, not, not in public. public. They do be saying that. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That is, if it's up, then it's up. Yeah, I, mean, you know that, that, I was lit. That'll that that work. That. You know is that like a weird though? I, I still feel that. like it's up. Is that like a weird? Is that like a weird imbalance? The sexuality though, like you know how like dudes can fuck everyone women aren't supposed to. Right. But so like, cause dudes been talking. Two live crew been talking about fucking bitches since. True. But if women talk, cause Lil Kim came out and said the same shit. It's changed now. We can say that. Though. Yeah, now yeah. we can I, talk about it. But it's weird that like dudes will do it and men and women will sing along with it if exactly. women do it. Cause I right. cause I do cut Cardi B off. I'm not gonna lie. It's, <laughs> it's like, like Cardi a B standard. comes down like eh, But yeah, but you're you. right. So we but we'll listen to guys mm -hmm. singing yeah. and we'll yeah. be rapping it like. Yeah. But you know what though? But I'm gonna rap, tell you, right? to me, it was a little bit different the way little Kim did it. Cause little Kim did it almost like she, she was trying to seduce the man. You know what I mean? Right. She was like, even if you go back to she Choice did. from yes. Rap a lot, yeah. it was more seductive. Like mm -hmm. I'm fucking with you. I'm gonna tell right. you. But now mm -hmm. it's like bitches is just trying I'm to get you. over. Yeah, yeah. It's like they <laughs> just over. trying to pimp. Right. I don't yeah. love you. Give me the money. Yeah. It's just a whole yeah. culture. It's yeah. a horror and culture. Men can't you know? relate to that. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, true. So Trina was doing that too, though in Florida. She was. She was. She was a pimp. She was like. So where do y'all think that 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 precipitates? From now, these youngsters, these these women now, it's about this. This it's basically whole culture. Yeah, I don't knock the hoes if that's what you nah, do. You a real hoe, 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 you know what I mean? Too. No, yeah, I, I respect yeah, the game because yeah, I come, yeah. I come, I was raised by a PI, so I understand that. Right, yeah. but. But I'm saying the fact that that's the culture now. It's like I sell my body. You know, I'm getting the money. Fuck a nigga. Like, what 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 what, what what do you think that comes from? Um. I think it comes from a, a independence. Women are making their own money right now, and they're doing their own thing. It's not like you know, women like where I'm. I live in Atlanta. Right, mm -hmm. women are getting more money than men out there. You mm -hmm. know, and so they bragging from about hoeing, it. though. From no. Hoeing, like from stripper, stripping, culture, but why is stripper hoeing, rapper girl, but why is hoeing culture? cool? Because back in the day, hoes did whole shit, but now it's like. It's oh, like it the was squares. behind closed Yeah, doors. yeah, but it's like now that's, it's, that's the thing the to do. Yeah, it's like, you know, do. I'm going to be a hot now girl. I'm going to get money. Just... It's like, what, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I guess and can... no, people aren't ashamed anymore. Yeah, that's what he was that. saying. Yeah, they're it's not, not ashamed. They're not it's ashamed. True. Uh, people not used ashamed to be hoes in the closet. That's, that's now it's like, now it's a hoe outside. Yeah. yeah. What's that JT say? If he a rich nigga, I'm going to fuck him till he ain't one. Jesus. 
I kind of like that line. Yeah. yeah. I, I know. I remember. I know. I kind of like that. Because you're like, ah, you're rich <laughs> nigga. Because all is of us have a little that in us. Is my daughter agreeing with this shit? All of us have a little that in us. my daughter agreeing with this shit? It's like a little devil on your shoulder. Yeah. Like, yes. Oh, we, we like, know. you know what it is. I would just know. See what happens when you have grown children? I want to throw up right now. He just turned around. Right. How dare you? No, I mean, because they, because you know why I think women had to push back because no, let's let's keep it real. For a long time, male rap was disrespectful, dominant, in your face, gregarious. But that's the shit y'all was doing. It is what it is. That's the shit y'all was doing. No, no. Right? So instead of y'all putting us on blast now, they putting themselves on blast. Y'all don't even got no content. So y'all exploiting yourself. It's kind of like the eighth mile theory. I always say this. Remember when Eminem was on stage and he's like, I'm going to say everything they're going to say about me first. That's a great point. Y'all just said that. So this is a civil war. This is a revolt. Right. The whole yes. thing is independent. The hoes, the hoes want to be accounted <laughs> for and be respected. You either me either hoe, that, I'm gonna call either, a I mean, what's the slut walk that they did? Before like a you call years? me a hoe, I'm gonna call yes. myself a Amber Rose. Uh, yeah, Amber, Amber, Amber Rose. Y'all, y'all been host. calling me that yeah. forever. Yeah. So, okay, I so am and I'm proud now. I'm Okay, I didn't see it like that. It's a rebranding. I think, I think, all right, I'm gonna go deeper. I think sexuality would. Dating apps and it's all just changing now. Uh, people are fucking like yeah, nut, like so media, easy now to swipe yeah. on someone. Yeah. Well, Most people yeah. young that I know right now, mm-hmm. everybody's like poly. Like, oh yeah, oh I got multiple partners. I don't have like yeah. I don't believe in yeah. marriage. I don't believe right. in one. They just you know fuck. They're outing Mo- the tricks too. They're yeah. like y'all, y'all, mm-hmm. y'all was keeping it a it's, secret. Y'all's paying yeah. for this thing back in the day. <laughs> if you think, yeah. of, if you y'all think, let yeah. everybody know y'all yeah. paying. If you think about how it used to be, because. You know, we're all a little older. Like you, you got told you get married and you do all mm-hmm. these. That's not the messaging anymore. No, it's not. And but, social media and mm-hmm. dating and everything has just changed. Like, well, if you try to date someone back in the day, but you've been with Yummy forever, so we won't use you. Mm-hmm. But like, you had to call mm-hmm. someone's house, to talk to mm-hmm. their parents. Right. Like, right. For, right. Sure. Right. For sure. Right. Right. My kid right, right. now. Danger. My kid right now has an. He's young. He's not even in junior high, and he has his little iPad, and like people text him. <laughs> <laughs> on the weekend, like, and I'm like, hold on, no, you're too young for that. Right. And I had to disable a bunch of stuff, but like, mm. these kids now, if they don't have any parents guiding them, they oh, just, yeah. they could just send each other messages yeah, just, and it from goes down in the DM. Yeah, it does. I'm curious. So it's what, different. It's just what, changed. What are your thoughts on yeah. on Polly? Um, I, I get confused on them because it's like Polly, oh, Polly, Polly, it's polyamorous. Polyamorous yeah. But ain't it like polyamorous and Polly something else? And... Y'all gotta tell me. Well, Polly oh, so is having a no, relationship okay. with uh, more than one person, okay. but everyone's in on it. Like, you know, okay, say, okay, say for instance, me and you were in the Polly and we mm-hmm. get a dude. Okay, so we okay. both mess with him, but we know. It's not, okay. you know, Got we it. live together. And then that dude might have other people yeah, that he, he messes with. He may have another one over there, but it's all. So it's, like it's the a, belief, it's like it's the belief that you yeah. can have multiple important relationships. Yeah, exactly. oh. They could be sexual or not sexual, but they just, you know, there's people out there like, well, you know, this person matters to me for this reason. And mm. this person matters. It can be to non-sexual me. too. It's just it can be non-sexual too. Oh, no, so. I'm too huh. jealous for that. Mm. But yeah, a lot of it, a lot of them are, are sexual, where it's like I, I know I people who have that. multiple people slept with the same chick, and it's like, no, it's no big deal. It ain't even no whole shit. They just <clears> like, <throat> oh yeah, you fucked her. I'm I almost mean, scared. I, I'm almost scared. I feel my mouth watering. Now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna ask my daughter. Where's she going? <laughs> she, uh, she oh, okay. I was. Oh, I'm sure. But I asked her what she thought. Yeah, Polly. Polly is. I don't know why it's becoming so big right now, mm-hmm. but um, it is. What? I have a couple of friends in um in Atlanta. That Would you do it? Poly. No, I'm okay. Good. You I'm old good. school. Yeah, we, we ain't. Good. That's not our generation. Yeah, that's I'm, not our thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. You know what? I want to mm-hmm. ask you this too. Um, <clears throat> just because we finally got some some women you skip, on here. You skipped the question. You skipped yeah, your you dad's question. Yeah, out of it. <laughs> Maybe it was supposed to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna just leave it where it's yeah, at, right? I'm gonna leave it. Um, you know, uh, here recently, um, DC Young Fly, you know, uh-huh. his his uh-huh. wife passed away. Uh, rest, rest in peace, peace Jackie. Yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately, DC, I did, I got the hook up too with him, and he's a good dude. Oh, he is good dude. He's so funny, man, too. genuine dude. So my heart goes out to him. Condolences. What are you, as women? What are your What are your thoughts on um, cosmetic surgery? I mean, is that mm-hmm. something that's that's really important to women to do? If you know, you, do you feel pressured? To, to, to look a certain way if and do you, that? If you're not happy with how you look, I think it's okay. I don't think you should do it for other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, there you go. Uh, I think it's, you know, 
if you want, like I said, I don't think you should do it for ev- for other people. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you feel like there's something you want to improve on, go for it. You know, I don't, I'm not against it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I think the same thing. I mean, I, I'm not against it at all, at all, as long as you try to be as safe as possible. That's right. What I was you know, say. that's the no. thing. You really just have to do your research. Mm-hmm. And just like, you know, with other medical procedures, there's always risk. But mm-hmm. because it's elective, you know, it's always terrible when someone passes away. Mm-hmm. And Kanye's mom and also? something they didn't yeah. have mm-hmm. to, you don't yeah. have to get it, right? Mm-hmm. It's like for vanity purposes. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's why we we mm-hmm. see these stories and it's just like, wow, that's terrible because they mm-hmm. just didn't have to do it. Right. You know, but... Right. Um, but is it fair to say that most women probably do it for other for the wrong reasons and for other people? Like when you see women get these ass, um, you know, the um, and different uh-huh. things like that. Is that for other women that they're trying to impress or the attention of men? Some people do it for themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, some people, I have a friend whose butt was flat. Yeah. Forever, like yeah. she had some, she had the rat uh-huh. though, but the booty <laughs> was on slack, right? Yeah. So she once it came along. This was when booty shots, like injections. Mm-hmm. She wanted them so mm-hmm. bad that we, she got them in my hotel room downtown. Mm-hmm. She got them in. I went down. I went to nice, eat. Oh, the old she, school. Yeah, old she got school. the old. School she got shots. the old school shots like that, but. It was for her. She mm-hmm. didn't have no man. It was she had just always when mm-hmm. she found out somebody could make her have a little booty, mm-hmm. she was on it. You mm-hmm. know, she's like, I want my clothes to fit better. Mm-hmm. I just want to feel better about myself. Gotcha. I know a girl that does it for the same reason. Yeah, she got it's, tons of stuff done and she don't date nobody. Yeah, it's for yourself. Yeah, mm, right. it's for yourself. What do you I've, had, I've, I've had a little industry. What are your thoughts, had, uh, daughter? I'm sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm saying I've had, I've dipped and dabbed into cosmetic surgery uh-huh. myself okay. and it was completely for myself mm-hmm. like I, it was i i because it it just doesn't make sense to take a risk like that you you mm-hmm. you if you if you're an educated person and you read through that paperwork and mm-hmm. you really study what you're doing um common sense would tell you you do not risk your life like that for right. nobody else right. right you would you know i i can't not judging people, but right. I would not, for me personally, is I would not t- do all that for nobody mm-hmm. else. I'm sorry. It's did you me. did you feel mm-hmm. better after you did whatever you did? Um, did I feel better? I wouldn't really uh I wouldn't really use those terms because it's not like, you know, you feel necessarily like bad. Like, mm-hmm. you just don't wake up sad or anything. Mm-hmm. Like, what is this? Or did you feel more but confident? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You definitely yeah. feel more confident. Okay. You know, like, especially mm-hmm. after you've had mm-hmm. kids, there's some mm-hmm. things that, that go on yeah, for, sure. for a lot of women that for sure. uh, misplace things and do weird things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you can, like, um, kind of correct that, yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I don't look like I just gave birth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So it's it's like... It's really personal mm-hmm. and it's um mm-hmm. you know as a woman you know you 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 start off one way and then things life changes yeah, we like happen to preserve our and youth. we want to preserve exactly. ourselves you yeah, know that's what it is back so. in the day plastic surgery was only for when you got old you mm-hmm. know you uh, now like, they're just now really young. 18 year olds yeah are getting that's plastic right. surgery that's most right. of the time it happened when gravity set in. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like, oh, right. I'm gonna go get But everybody's competing now. Mm-hmm. Good point. You know? mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. now Good people point. are doing it before it's it's needed. It's not. I was gonna say, do you think they really need, need it, it? Or right. is it just becoming a thing? It's becoming a thing. Just becoming like greedy or yeah. something. Yeah, it's because they want to enhance everything. Mm-hmm. So it's not even a thing of corrective. Right. Now it's like, no, I just want bigger. But right. again, again, no. again, yeah. again just, things are but changing. You, think- you have a phone on you now? That has right. forty million people to compare yourself against. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody's you know competing. What I mean? like, Ouch! Mm-hmm. Comparison is the thief of joy. Because yeah. like it again, is. when you and I were young, bro, nobody was like you had to go get a magazine from the store. Right. Like let's Playboy, say if you're a dude but, yeah. and he's into bodybuilding, like you would have to rip. There was no internet. There was yeah. no phone. You had to get the muscle magazine. You had to go mm-hmm. get that and then be like, oh, man, that dude is buff. I, like, yeah. I'm trying to get like it's that. It's different. Mm-hmm. But, but that's so hard vanity. to find back then. Yeah, but I don't think it's just vanity. Mm-hmm. I think when it comes to 
like even elective procedures. And it's hard, especially as women, because it's like, I don't feel like we win either way. And the reason why I say mm. this is because with her particular, like, like, for example, with her particular situation, you mm. know, let's just keep it real. Like mm -hmm. as a woman, if I'm, let's just say I'm dating a man, like mm. any man, but definitely okay. a man that's, you know, in the industry, you're surrounded by beautiful women all day, every day. Mm. Naturally, anybody in a relationship is going to feel like, okay, I want to look my best. I want to be my best because I know right. when he goes out the door, he's seeing 36, 26, 38. That part. You feel me? And then, so let's just say if she didn't get it, then let's just say down the line, things change, relationship, whatever, you know, people go through phases. Then people would say, well, why didn't she get surgery? Why didn't she take care of herself? They got money. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? She's a woman. Why don't they just go and right. fix it? Right. I love you, father. But even he told me that when he was pressing yeah, me about wait. having a kid and I was like, well, I don't, yeah, I'm gonna drag you in this. <laughs> I said, Shit. I don't want to have a kid because I'm scared of what it'll do to up. my body, right? Yeah, and he yeah. was like, well, just scared. go get the mommy makeover. And I was like, right. well, no, it's not just that simple yeah. because I'm already, you exactly. You see what I'm saying? People make it so casual and people make it such a yeah no and don't you cut this out it seems that way but it's so not it's so much no and that's what I'm saying I want people to understand if anything just to give light and grace and so much love to her situation is that it's like women are you know even if it is like okay I want to preserve my relationship I want to look good for my man I want us to be happy I want to upkeep intimacy you know what I mean mm -hmm. I want to still be that to him even physically because men are visual right. I don't think she's wrong for that I don't think any yeah. woman is wrong for that you know yeah. even if it is cosmetic because yeah. like Ken said too you're competing with millions of people yeah. already now because it swipe you can go swipe. see more and let the record reflect yeah. we're definitely not saying that she was wrong or anybody oh wrong. no we're no. just exploring no, not at the, all. we just, just exploring the psyche of it. yeah the psychology yeah, of it Hmm. She's yeah. unfortunate. Yes. Yes. She very was, interesting. She was mm -hmm. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. she was, I, yes, I'm yes. looking at her like, boo, you strike. Right. But you know, <laughs> like I was telling that's you, that's what inside you. Yeah, when yes. it's you, I it's understand. you, it's different. Yeah. You know? And you feel, and sadly, you know, you feel it safe. It's, it's, it's done so often now that I think yeah. even it's like, so even often. again, yeah, Kanye's, normal, Kanye's yeah. mom, right? You got all the money in the world with your son. I'm sure she thought she was in a very safe scenario. And sometimes. Sometimes bad shit happens. That's that's, that's in right. the paperwork, right? That's like in the paperwork. there's mm -hmm. this Sign small release form. There's a small margin of it's error a small where margin. where you might not, not wake up. And, and wow. that's very unfortunate. So sad. if you take that risk, it you know. Yes. Humans want to perfect themselves. Yeah. And some yeah. Hmm. That's they do. They want to perfect themselves. It's the beauty standard to me, if you really mm -hmm. break it down, unfortunately. It, even though I think it has become, once again, it can become an imbalance, it really is based off of health. Even when you see people do the cheekbones and the jaws, like if you look at indigenous or even if you go down to science and waist to hip ratios or, you know, facial structures, like everybody's right. trying to compete for the same look. This is why now mm -hmm. women are all trying to get the brows, the cheeks, the this. Right. It's like they want the same package. Yeah, it's indicative of health. Yeah, they're going to start looking all like. The funny mm -hmm. thing is that huh. you don't you get with one of these chicks and you don't know they had all this work. I done, know, and then you have, have a baby. baby and your baby <laughs> is not. That. I always thought I'm a, that too. I'm gonna be honest. I've like, dated uh, in LA. I, 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 it's crazy. I can, out there. I can deal with with implants. I can mm -hmm. deal. I don't know. It's something about the ass implants mm -hmm. that yeah. gives oh, yeah, me like implants. like prosthetic cool. limb. Okay. Like vibes, right. you know what I'm saying? It just weirds me out. Like it's like damn, phantom well, booty. Yeah, so they're not doing good work. A lot of them are doing booty. good work because so. they're doing so many of these booties. Yeah, yeah. they mm -hmm. not really the work is getting. I can appreciate when it looks natural, but when it's the, like the ant booty, it's like <laughs> right. bugs like. I was just in Vegas. What I was is just that? In Vegas. The thighs don't match. So yeah, what is that? I'm like, damn, like, the thighs do some damn strong exercises or something. Like just just make it match the thighs, match it. Damn doctors shouldn't do that. Either. The doctors yeah. should they know, know better. Know. Like they just they want that say, bread. Though. You know your leg yeah. is gonna be really <laughs> small under this, right? So what so, about the dudes that have recently been doing the lengthening, like the uh, knee shit, where to oh, make them yeah. taller? The, the dudes are doing Ooh. all this stuff. Yeah, they yeah. got they got. I was just, yeah. I was just yeah. to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the pecs, I was just the gonna say they that. Got yeah. the, they got the some of them are getting booties. I mean, let's just they got the booties. Yes, some of the. I'm gonna get a full chest implant, come back on <laughs> court, just all small. <laughs> they got uh, penis enlargement. Oh yeah, 
Do they? Uh, yeah. That's crazy. No. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't paying attention to that shit. I'm just saying <laughs> so, they do. So they got implants for everything. What What do y'all think about men? I was going to say men that that are doing mm-hmm. it, but then men that are hat fishing, they're getting the weaves and shit. The, like the <laughs> niggas straight ball. Hat fishing. And they straight. <laughs> like what y'all think about oh, that? Oh, you talking about Would the you, new men yeah. thing? Yeah. The, the toupee. Like the shit look like my shit look oh, real. No. Like what y'all think about well, that? see, men only got two More problems, too. okay? Yes. Men. <laughs> Only get upset when their hair is gone away and when they thing don't work no more. That's it. That's, when That's it. Upset. When they get older, yeah. they're not really worried about we are still trying to look youthful. We want our bodies to look good. Mm-hmm. Guys get older, get a pop belly, all hey. this stuff. But as long as that thing is that working and their hair. hair, you know, they that so that some men. Like my boy over here, he's confident with the ball head. <laughs> right. Yeah, I've been shaving my. I actually have yeah, hair. Yeah. yeah. And all of my yeah. partners are mad because they're bald oh, in this shit. You really have hair. I do. So you're, oh, I've been you're shaving my. I've choice. been shaving my hair since high school. Though. What? So like, yeah. Well, see, yeah. that's yeah. why it looks yeah. good. He's known me for twenty yeah. years. Yeah. I've always, yeah. I always yeah. have. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think that just like women, how we're getting cosmetic surgery and things, that's that's something cosmetic that mm-hmm. they can do, and they're really good with these hair pieces now. Man, they're really good. I see good them with them. on IG. I I work in like, the hair industry crazy. too. Uh, yeah, we're selling hair. That shit look fake sometimes, though. They it looks don't fake sell so more than the uh, women's look right wow. now. The hair pieces for men. They're selling more. Yeah. Shit, wow. I just I'm just gonna cut my shit when that shit don't <laughs> just, um, Your just hair go looks good. You look yeah, like you yeah. holding on. I, I'm, I'm trying. Oh, no. It's trying. It's holding on. <laughs> it's, holding, it's holding. My it's holding. yeah, my edge is getting a little weak, but I, yeah, okay. I'm <laughs> but I, I'm almost fifty, He's so I'm hanging edges. on. Right. Well, you shout out to Don't let him lock those. Right. Shout out to James. Yeah. Shout out to the barber. He's doing good. They got the beards too. Yeah. No, my shit. Oh, they got the beards. You see, I wasn't up on the beard. The lace front beard. Yeah. Oh, real Lordy, Lordy. Boy, they doing. That's they doing crazy. a lot. But they, they, Atlanta, that's what they do. Yeah. They got oh, all yeah. that shit. Yeah. Uh, that's the one thing, man. When I go to Atlanta, I hate getting my hair cut. Because them motherfuckers try to shellac that fucking <laughs> right. black ice. They my shit them. be, I be like, like, rest in peace to Shorty oh, Low. I mean, that had yeah. you walking out. They be shiny, shiny and black. If it rain, that's your oh, ass. It's over. That's your you ass. Sweat, like, whatever. It's over. <laughs> what? That's real They talk. love some black ice in, in, in Atlanta, They boy. do. Yeah. That's crazy. So anyway, transition. <laughs> so now, current music. So what what do you have that you're working on now? What are you doing now? What is Grips to doing in 23? I'm working on my EP. It's okay. coming out super lit. I just okay. released the, uh, This Is Cali, which is a take on, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Scarlet. This is shout New Shout out York. to Scarlet. Yes. Yeah, shout yes. out to Scarlet. Yeah. So I did the This Is Cali. Okay. And it, it's lit. It's okay. lit. Y'all got to go to YouTube, check it out. Yeah. I did a full video on it. And we're just in the studio working, mm-hmm. working, 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 What's some working. What's the producers you working with? Uh, I actually I'm working with um a lot of a lot of local kids. Mm-hmm. A lot of local That's kids right. from lick. um LA. Yeah. And, and to be honest, they just have the most lit dope. Because they hungry beats. and creative. Twan yeah. the producer, shout out Twan the producer, mm-hmm. um, C Young on the beats, um, and uh DJ Phrase. Mm-hmm. I'm working with him. He's a uh Latino brother. That's um, making some some pretty big waves in the mm-hmm. industry. So mm-hmm. just I kind I'm kind of keeping it tight, but I'm open, you know, for other production. Okay. Yeah. And so how are you putting it out? Y'all doing it independent? Right now we're doing it independent, mm-hmm. and we'll then see we'll, how that goes. Yeah, we're gonna start we, independent. We got our eye we'll, on a couple you know, situations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Try okay. to get some bigger yeah. investors or get a, a deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, y'all got uh, Uncle Ice. Uh, is he involved still, or you just you yeah, took well, over? Well, yeah. we're working on this project. Of yeah. course, mm-hmm. I we calling for mm-hmm. some yeah. little coaching, yeah. you know, <laughs> tips and things yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, it's just been me and Grip and a you know a couple of other people who are working on this project. Nice. But he's all behind it, definitely. Okay. Yeah. he wants to get the video before. Mm-hmm. Let me send the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. You know, so he's very excited, mm-hmm. and um, I know that he would have loved to do this with grip as well but mm-hmm. you know dad is so busy yeah. and yep. uh, you know he has other artists as well but mm-hmm. it, me and her mm-hmm. are so close that mm-hmm. I I had to do it. I was like this I'm gonna do this let's so, do it so yeah. how are you liking stepping into the management position how is that for you well um I've been in the management mm-hmm. 
for a minute, right. but she's the only <clears throat> one I've really wanted to manage. Mm-hmm. You know, I only like to manage people who are ready to work. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to have good work ethic. I don't want to have to drag you and right. be more into what That's your right. thing than you That's are. That's right. That's right. So um, all I have to do with her mm-hmm. is just, you know, put her somewhere, to do, mm-hmm. to tell her the task. She's mm-hmm. a star. You mm-hmm. know, it's not really hard work. I'm just there to motivate. I'm just more of like a coach. Gotcha. You know, she's like a coach. Gotcha. I'm like a mo- yeah. I motivate and you know make sure she keeps her eye on the ball mm-hmm. and she's got this though. Yeah. It's you know she's been doing it since she was little. So um, I'm just here to help guide gotcha. the tour. You How you are just into the whole social media thing because that's a big part of now being an artist. Yeah. How you are just into that and content producing <laughs> content. I think producing content is still pretty challenging. I mean, mm-hmm. a lot of times yeah. we, I, I forget to post stuff yeah. because um, yeah. we live such a a, a dope life. In real life. In real life. <laughs> real life. Um, I, I'm just mm-hmm. used to just having a dope life in real life. You know, mm-hmm. when we were coming up, we didn't have to show everybody mm-hmm. everything. Way you know, different. we were in a V12 different. Benzes and, and mm-hmm. Bentleys and, right. um, you know, with, with you know, I, Ice introduced me to uh, Easy E, rest mm-hmm. in peace. Tupac, mm-hmm. rest in peace. Uh, you know, Chris Rock would come up to the to the house. Forrest yeah. Whitaker, I'd come out her room, and Forrest Whitaker would be there. And I'm back then, that would be a super post moment. Right. right. But right. I, I, but you know, like right. the kind of shit we did, like <laughs> fuck the yeah. whole cast of New Jack City's yeah. in the living room right. when yeah. you wake if up. We, yeah, like, they wouldn't yeah. have been able to handle us if yeah. we were on social media. They w- like yeah. we would have been. They yeah, huge. So huge. now it's just like I honestly I just forget to brag every day. Yeah. I forget <laughs> to say I'm better. I forget right. to show all the dope yes. shit. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I have to make a conscious effort with yep. the social media. Yeah. Yep. You know, because it's so much bullshit on there too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. sometimes I just get on and I'm just like logging off. I mean, because I can only look at so many memes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can look at only so many street fights right. and so many booties, <laughs> and I'm just like. I'm bootied and I'm street fight and yeah. I'm memed yeah. out. Yeah. Get off this shit, you yeah. know? Yeah, so that's me. It's a good marketing tool, though. Mm-hmm. It, it's a great marketing yeah. tool. It it's is. a good marketing tool. Um, but Free uh, promotion. Free promotion. Shit. Mm-hmm. And advertising, you yeah. know? So, um, Do you wish it could go back to how it was back in the day when celebrities, it's like part of the... I guess the attraction was you didn't know the that. mystique you didn't of what was going on. Exactly, right. it was like, oh my god, like we've I guess seen I'm them still somewhere. There, yeah. you know, like she said, we forget to take even take pictures. We're in the club. We're yeah, we forget. <laughs> yeah. We forget. Like, yeah. dang. like we even just, when Ice got his star, right. we're like, yeah. get, take video, <laughs> right? Get a take, get a picture of it. Yeah, and then yeah. Ice is like, I'm like, Ice over here. Let me get a picture of you. And he's got his his uh, plaque. Right. Like, okay, got it. Oh, now. I'm but it's still not even post worthy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just, like yeah. trying to take it. To and yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. It's like a task. But for business purposes, no, for it's sure. free promotion. Now That's you don't have to now. have a label as much and a mm-hmm. publicist yep. as yeah. much right. and yep. be printed up. And, you know, I, yep. I used to get the articles in like the uh, rap magazines and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like now you, you can more so sell yourself. Yeah. For you sure. can almost mm-hmm. sign yourself. I you mean, my advice in this era, what I've learned is they see you before they hear you. You know, it's almost Facts. like they get into you before mm-hmm. the music. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. So, yeah. That's why it was yeah. so important for us to come and sit down with you, Court, mm-hmm. because yeah. we wanted them to get into her. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. the music, you know, and get Absolutely. let them know, you know, about her background and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Some people come out and you don't really know nothing about them except yeah. for the lyrics to their song, which kind of is not a connection. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? Right. And now that's what they want to do. They want to vicariously, you know, kind of look into your life through right. social media. They do. You know, so. Yeah, People keep keep posting. Too. They are people super nosy. They're very nosy. Yeah. Our generation was different. I gener- I had yeah. to learn. I had to adjust, especially <laughs> right. being I didn't get on social media till f- 6 years ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, oh, you're doing great. Right. You know what I mean? Cuz you know <laughs> you jumped in and man, got busy though. Cuz right. back in the day, I didn't even take pictures with niggas cuz I wanted to be able to <laughs> deny I even know this nigga. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You know. Oh, so <laughs> literally. You know what I'm saying? Real, so, you know, it was a whole different mentality, that's you know, real. but but now you just show them, you know, you stay brand specific, you show them what you want to show them. I yeah. show a little bit. You show a little. I just personal. start showing like my kids and shit uh, because you don't want to uh-huh. come off so contrived and so right. silly 
sell yeah. to where, you know, people, you, they don't relate to you as a human, you know, yeah, as a person. Exactly. But yeah, you just keep posting, keep going yeah, at that shit. Yeah. Who do you want to work yeah. with? Like, who would you want to work with? I want to know oh, that. Like, female or male? Oh, R&B or rap? With? Male. Wow. <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of the people I want to work with have passed away already. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. Man, <laughs> like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, our classic <laughs> artists, so yeah. many have passed away. I'm trying to think. Uh, see, I've worked with Ice. I've worked with a lot of... Who would I want to work with that's here? I mean, um, Sir. It could be Sir from L.A. Like, it could be an R&B yeah. artist. Or... Who do I like? So it's safe to say you probably ain't feeling none of these young. No, I was about to say, I'm like, dang. It's probably safe She's to say. Like, probably, I'm like, you ain't fucking with none of these young motherfuckers. Man, <laughs> nah, I, I fucks with a lot of their music, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I guess you have no features on the music. album right now either. No, <laughs> I, was, she, I got, I got, yes. I got some features like some LA cats, you okay. know, Eastside K Boy, uh, Rucci from Inglewood. Uh, TT mm. hopped on a track that went crazy last night. TT, you rapping last <laughs> night? She's singing. She said oh, last night. She's singing okay. when you guys hear. Okay. Oh, but I got flows. Too. It's lit. <laughs> it's in your blood. It's lit. Though. It's yeah. lit. Yeah, we were working last night. Um, what was that? The Fam Studio. Yeah, Fam it, Recording Studio. Yeah. Was Shout that the the one you posted? The, it was white with the white. Yeah, white. Nice yeah, it, it, was it is really lit. Nice. It's called. We were in the cloud room. It had yeah, it looked nice. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like working, of course, with Dre, like production. Wise, yeah. Dre, mm -hmm. uh, DJ Quick. You know, mm -hmm. I like a lot of the classic people. I'm right. not gonna lie, like production wise. Yeah. You know, what I'm can saying? you get DJ uh -huh. Quick on here or not? Nah? Right. We <laughs> I love. Oh, yeah. I love. <laughs> as far as females, we, I love Young Ma. Though. We Young Ma. I love. Her. I would love Young to Ma work style. with Young Ma. Oh, okay. I love okay. her. I yeah, we uh, yeah, quick. We working on quick. Yeah, yeah. Pull him word, out of word. He's dope, <laughs> Mr. David. Right? He's so <laughs> David dope, Blake. Yeah, he's dope. Pull um, him. Yeah. And as a rapper and a I producer, I love YG. I'd love to do mm -hmm. a joint with YG. Okay, he's yeah. lit. Yeah, YG's yeah. He's got you know, he's mm -hmm. so lit. Yeah. Okay. Mozzie's lit. Yeah, Mozzie, mm -hmm. welcome sure. home. You know, yes. they're kind of yeah. like along the lines of what I yeah. do. I'm I'm somewhere between mm -hmm. like. Ice Cube, Mozzie meets mm -hmm. YG. Got you. That's like my so, vibe. Yeah. So real quick, having ties to Shout Inglewood. out Sacramento, Mozzie. Yes. Uh, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? for sure, for sure. <laughs> having ties to Inglewood, um, I guess primarily you, uh, with the passing of Big Y. Rest in peace to Big Y. Did yeah. you know Big Y? Yeah, um, briefly. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, he's a, a, he's like a, everybody in the hood knows yeah. Big Y. Yeah. So, yeah, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, shoot. Anything else y'all wanna y'all wanna uh, drop off? This interview was dope. It was I dope. I appreciate y'all coming. You no know, grips online. Uh, yep. She's uh with Gripsta on At Instagram. G R I P underscore S T A on Instagram. Yeah, you can check got... out my new joint. This yeah. is Cali on YouTube, all platforms. Mm. That part. Yeah. Yep, and my, my Instagram mm -hmm. is T-T-E-A-V, baby. And um, it's real lit. You want to go on there, it's cracking. Uh, it's cracking. <laughs> it's, crack it's cracking. Anything new that she's doing will be on there and and, yeah. and her page. Uh, this new album is it's ridiculous. Okay. And TT be showing out y'all too. Oh, I do. she be showing out. We love you know, her, man. I, I she do. be doing she a lot. Me I, I, I be looking at the shit like, did her daddy see this? Shit? <laughs> yeah, but look, I'm grown as hell. I know you I was grown. so we good as age. a child. <laughs> yeah, I did good. You know, so now I be I'm wanting to say, I be wanting to text Ice like, Ice, would you look at this shit? <laughs> 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 don't be trying to tell on her. Yeah, don't be that snitch. But it's all that's that daddy thing. That's what I use social media for. Yeah, or like yeah. just to you know, it's not really that serious. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. right. It's fun. People take it too seriously. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, we're launching all of her stuff from our pages. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'll just keep everybody posted on what's going on. Yeah. With oh, man, I really appreciate y'all coming. We, I appreciate y'all really appreciate you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, listen, y'all already know what this is, y'all family. You know, this is yes. home, holding court podcast. Anytime y'all want to come, you're more than welcome. Yeah. That goes we without saying, that. you know what I'm saying? You. As you see, I'm representing. Yeah. Syndicate. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm an honorary, honorary, honorary member. You, you know what I'm You are yeah. sure. Yeah, sure. So, you got to get my little sister. Now she did one too. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. So, man. Make sure people know what time it is. That's right. Fact. That's right. All right. Well, that's another one for the books, man. We got Gripster. We got T. We got Rachel Renee. We got producer Ken. This is Big Court for the Holding yes. Court podcast, man. Appreciate y'all coming. 
Yes, Appreciate did. y'all. Peace. Well, thank Peace. You. Peace. Yep. around comes around karma's on the way there's nothing you could do now you gotta pay